Hi everyone. Welcome to this video on how to load more data on demand in Sync Fusion Flutter Calendar. In this video, I will show you how to use the SF Calendar's Load More Widget Builder property and how to override the Handle Load More method of Calendar Data Source Abstract class to perform load more data on demand in the SF Calendar widget. I'm using a sample application that was configured with the SF Calendar package and added the Sync Fusion Flutter Calendar widget. I have set the calendar view to month and set a field that contains an empty data source of type meeting data source, which is inherited from the calendar data source class. This data collection field of type map of data time and list of appointments contains appointments that should be loaded on demand to the calendar. First, let me run this application in an Android emulator. You can see the calendar with no data bound to it. You can download this sample from the link provided in the description below, and you can also watch the getting started video titled, getting started with Flutter event calendar in 10 minutes, which I have shared in this YouTube card. Now, let me show you how to load events on demand to the calendar, using this data collection field that contains appointments. In the SF calendar, add the load more widget builder property. This property will allow you to show a widget while loading data on demand. Let me show a circular progress indication widget until calendar gets the data. Define an inline function by receiving two parameters, build context and load more callback. Within this function, return a future builder and in the future property, call the load more appointments function. This load more callback function is used to call the handle load more method of calendar data source class. I will implement and explain this handle load more method later in this video. Add the builder property and define an inline function receiving two parameters context and snapshot. Within it, return a container widget and set its alignment property to the center so that you can show the circular progress indicator at the center view. To its child property set a circular progress indicator widget and set an animation with blue color. Save the file, you can notice in the SF calendar, a blue color circular progress indicator is shown. This will be shown until it gets appointments to load in the calendar widget. To load appointments in the meeting data source class, which is inherited from calendar data source class, you need to override the handle load more method. This method should be async since the data will be loaded asynchronously. Within this handle load more method, I need to add the required appointments to this appointment collection so that I can load appointments on demand only when it is visible in the device. Define a list of appointment field and assign a collection of appointment object. Define a date time field to store the start date and assign the parameters start date field. This start date will be the calendar's current view's start date. In the same way, define a field for end date using the parameters end date. Next, let me get the list of appointments within these days that are available in the data collection field. So, iterate from the app start date to app end date, and within it define a list of appointment field to get the appointment from the data collection using the app start date as the key. If the data is null, then increment the duration of the app start date to one day and continue the process. This will allow you to get the next day's appointments during the next iteration. If the data contains appointments, then iterate it and check whether the appointment already exists in the member appointment field. If yes, continue to the next date, otherwise add that appointment to the meetings field. This loop will add all appointments available in the app start date to this meetings field. Increment the app start date's duration by one day, so that it will fetch the next day's appointments during the next iteration. After the while loop, call the appointments fields add all method and pass the meetings field that will contain all the appointments for the current calendar view. I need to call the notify listeners method by passing the parameter calendar data source action as add and the meetings field since I have added new appointments to the data source. This will notify its clients if any. Save the file, you can notice the calendar is updated with appointments. Swipe to see the next month. You can see the data is loaded on demand. Let me add a delay in the handle load more method so that you can see the circular progress indicator while loading the on-demand data. Save the file, now swipe to see the next month's appointments. You can notice the progress indicator now before the data loads. Let's see how the same code works in a web browser. I'll stop the application, change the device name to Chrome, and run the application. You can see the calendar exactly as it was before, only in the Google Chrome browser this time. Finally, let me show you how this works on the desktop. Change the device to Windows and run the application. You can see the calendar in Windows. That's it.
You can download this working example from the GitHub link and documentation link in the video description below. You can also check whether you are eligible for our community license, which gives you a free license key to use our Flutter products. If you found this video useful, click the like button and subscribe to our channel to get notifications about new videos. Thanks for watching.